Hello, welcome to this video where I'm going to be demonstrating a setup for a recruitment website. Now, this is going to cost very little per month. Actually, this is going to be the design you're going to be looking at. It's going to be step by step how to actually set it up. And it's a very simple, easy to set up website. Um, if you're just starting off in recruitment and you want to look a bit you know, professional, this looks like most recruitment companies' websites, even though it's not going to cost you anything. Um, there are premium designs that you can buy but the most you sh you'll be looking to spend is about £50 on a design like this and I use one for myself for my recruitment agency and it costs about £50 um, just to run like that the only monthly cost you're going to have associated with it is actually the hosting which I'm going to recommend to providers um, so I can go through pricing with that depending on how you want to pay um, the first one I'll definitely recommend is Bluehost reason being they've got WordPress hosting which is going to use to run your website now it's going to cost about three to five pounds depending on what you want you don't want to buy anything too expensive you want the just the basic package these websites are not going to have high volumes of traffic and even when if you do and then suddenly you know your website blows up or whatever you're going to use it for you can actually very easily upgrade and just pay a little bit on top now this is for a fixed term if you do do it on a monthly basis the price will go up to about four or five pounds and um, the same with that is also Hostgator which I actually use both of them are very similar they're the best two best ones out of everyone don't buy hosting from GoDaddy um, or any of the name providers is what I'd recommend now the Hatchling program is slightly cheaper um, so I would recommend doing that but if you can and you want to set up multiple websites it would be beneficial to actually buy the baby plan uh, which I started off with and I moved to a sort of VPN um, off of that so I'm going to show you how to set it up it's going to take about five to ten minutes um, of that and what you want to do first is buy your domain name so I've already pre-registered a domain name and what you want to do is buy your hosting and domain so if you buy your domain you just type in I don't know the best recruitment agency dot com you just do a little search and it will tell you if the names available and how much it's gonna cost now Namecheap I think they've got a deal on at the moment which is about seven pounds per year however I think GoDaddy if you do type in a, you know a website and you like the domain name if you buy two years I think you get one year for one pence which is pretty good and if you're looking to obviously stick around definitely definitely buy that any add-on you find if you go to add to cart I mean it may not even spring it up don't buy any sort of add-on you know any sort of security or any name thing because I can show you how to get everything for free basically um, with that so if you go add to cart for this let's have a look and then you go through everything uncheck uncheck all of these um, any add-ons or anything because you don't need that most of it you can get for free um, from there so once you've got your domain name and you've set up on your hosting which is here um, let me just refresh this you'll have something called a DNS now this is your server name so you want to link your name which is the com to your name hosting so how you do that in Namecheap it's very simple you go to domains click it and you would look for name servers it's the same on GoDaddy it's very easy to find and you click custom and you'll just copy and paste whatever your name server is which will be here and you would put your primary and secondary you put both of them in not just one and once that's done you just save it and that's linked together once you've done that you want to add the domain to it so in this section here I mean this will be the same on Bluehost there's no difference in it maybe the layout but the maybe the slight title so you want to add on the main so you'll type in the best recruitment agency or whatever the company is dot com and you will just click add domain I've already added this domain on and after that you will just click add domain and that's done you want to find the WordPress installer here now 
all you do is you find your domain you click next and you want to add your details here and what this is going to do this is going to install the design here and make sure you put a email address you're using because it will add everything so I think I've already installed but that's how you'd install it um, from here so if I just show you the website if we install a blank one for now I can show you what the website was look like once you've done those steps the website will look something like this um, so very plain and basic and now you want to add what this design is and it's called a theme so you want to go to the theme section on the website and it's very simple you click upload at the top and you'll type in I think jobs a few website or job a few websites come up now you can do a Google search you can search free staffing themes free recruitment themes free, free, free agency themes and the designs will come up now I found this one is probably the best so if you just you cl you'd click install it would have an install button I've already pre-installed it you click activate once you've done that they will give you some plugins to install and um, I think I've already done it all you do is click install and it should look like the website if not I'll have to have a look so here is the the design I need one to go I think they'll have a section where you can edit the page from here so you can just change your title you can even change this picture here and it's very easy to use I think they should have a this isn't the right section let me go back customize and they've got an all customized section it's very simple to use and you'll just click just another WordPress site so I don't know if you want to type in um, best recruitment or recruiters for recruiters for I don't know fishermen or whatever you're recruiting and it will change it here and then once you save click publish it will change everything from there so you can change you know colors appearance etc from there so you can change the whole design now this is the front layout and there'll be a job section so you want to make sure that's enabled as well um, so if I go back I won't save anything and you want to go into your dashboard again and from here you're pretty much set up all you need to do is go through customize again or it should be at the top when you're on the home page and you can start adding jobs I think there'll be a through adding jobs I think you go to new I'm not familiar with the this in itself but let's do a test if we click publish but they've got a blog section on it as well so that'll be pretty good to use yeah that's the blog itself post jobs let me go back let's have a look so I think there's obviously a section or a plugin we have to install that will assist with this I'll have a look afterwards and see exactly where it is. So I'm guessing it's a plugin. So what we're going to do is find what plugins are installed but not working. So a plugin, so yeah, these are inactive. So I'm going to have to install these. My apologies. So let's activate that, that, and that. right my apologies for that and here is the job section so 
you want to add new and we're just going to do a test to see if it works so it's a position so it's a chef and you know best job in the world world and you publish it hopefully it should come up on the website so yeah there we go obviously you'd add a picture you'd add more details to it and you'd obviously have a look through there but that's the easiest way to set up a website for free and hope this helps I will do be doing more videos if anyone needs by all main by all means put a comment on the video I'll give you my email address if you want to email me get on a phone call if you're struggling to set up the website I'll be happy for you to you know give a give me a call and then we can just go through everything from there so let me know if this helped and if you're setting up a website or if you need have any questions around that